All right, Tyler, uh, talk a little bit about uh, where you are at this point this season as opposed to where you were at this point last season. Kind of has to be a whole different outlook now that you're kind of the guy at tight end and not playing behind Kyle Rudolph. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, going in as maybe the starter, but um, still got to work hard every day. And um, still there's things to be learned in the offense. And um, it's definitely things I still need to work on. So uh, it's just about going out every day and trying to get better. When you take a look at when you arrived here on campus, it was kind of... Um Suppose you were following, not following John Goodman, but Goodman was already here and uh, he was supposed to be the, the superstar in the future and it seems like that you've kind of cultivated that, that you're now kind of the guy from Dwenger. So talk about um, what that means to, to have represented your high school and your area well. Uh, it means a lot. I um, uh, never, never really would have even thought I'd be here. Um, and here I am getting ready to go into the season, hopefully play a lot and help the team win. So. Uh, means a lot and uh, I'm glad glad to be the guy to do it. What's your reaction when you see your name on the on the Mackey Award watch list and you see you know an NFL scouting website rank you as the number one NFL prospect tight end for your class of college players? Um, it's cool to see but really doesn't mean anything. Um, kind of like our ranking right now we still got to go out and play the season and see where we end up so uh, there's still a lot of work to be done and um, a lot of things to be proved. Where have you made the biggest advancements and strides in your game over the uh, over the last 365 days? Uh, just getting stronger, working on my blocking techniques. Um, that's where I had the most areas to improve in. So uh, that's where that's where I'd say I've improved the most. And when you uh, you know took over from Kyle, what did you learn from him, and what do you take away from watching him practice day in and day out? That here's what you know an NFL player, a high level NFL player, has to offer, and you can take away from. Uh, his film study, uh, the way he prepared for games. No, I, I don't. I didn't really know how to scout or watch film when I got here, and uh, just taking away how he how he uh, looks at a defense and keys that he looks for to be ready for the upcoming opponent. As a team, talk about the momentum that you guys roll in because uh, you know coming off last season in a Sun Bowl victory, uh, Notre Dame is pointing in the right direction. Yeah, we are. We uh, ended with a with a hot streak last year and plan to keep it going this year all the way through so hopefully we, it's not as much of a roller coaster as last year and we can be more consistent in winning games. And when you take a look at uh, the scheme that uh, Brian Kelly brought in obviously you know you're recruited by coach Weiss but when you saw his scheme and the way he uses tight ends I mean did that that kind of light up your eyes because it's it's something that uh, you know works well in his offense. Yeah it did because running routes and uh, catching the football is one of my strengths so um, knowing what he does with the tight end and throwing the ball a lot was was uh, definitely exciting. Anything else you'd like to add? No. Nope. Appreciate it, man.